Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today, we got another Necrit reaction for you. It is going to be for the new video he released today called Ari's Boycotts Got Crazy. Now, this is obviously related to the $500 Ari skin, and we did just do a reaction to that. I'll put it up in the top if you want to go check that out first. But he has a 16-minute video about the Ari boycotts getting crazy. So let's find out more about what's going on in the world of League of Legends and the whole drama behind the, the Hall of Legends and Faker skin, all right? So here we go. Grab a snack, grab you know, grab a drink, grab whatever you want, and let's dive into this reaction. We all knew that the moment Riot revealed something bad regarding skins, the community mm. would go wild. But what we didn't know is that League's <clears throat> I want to know Faker's take on all of this. Able to accomplish something incredible. They would unite under a single goal. Who would win? $500 skin or one ban we're going button? To talk about today. Gotcha. So, we all know that Riot is on a bit of a streak when it comes to figuring out just how far can they get a with streak. their organization. We've had the expensive legendary and ultimate skins for a while. Sometimes we get ultimate skins with the features of just a legendary I heard skin. Soul Fighter and Samira, were yeah. We laughed at and that's kind of it. Then Riot pushed for the new era of prestige skins KDA. for Mystic Essence, which usually went for roughly about $100. Those mm. started to grind some nerfs. Okay. Then Riot tried See, to I don't know any of this. gacha mechanics, which essentially meant we got new skins for $200. That's the $200 gin skin, right? were quite successful, which wow. is why Riot pushed for more of those. And that's the point people often overlook. Those $200 skin? skins sold well enough that Riot tried it again. See, that's and the problem. People buy it, right? Well. And that is a crucial point for this video. They'll keep making it that's and people right, keep buying it. I know it. you thought I was just rambling to turn one graph into a 10-minute video. Now, of course, that is still going <laughs> to happen, but that's not really the case this time. So remember, despite the seemingly big outrage there was around the new gacha in Lee, People bought the it. reality is it was both a success on the financial side yep. and even the company's image stayed fine in the end. So nothing really changed. They had no and repercussions that's what for leads it. us into the current $500 skin drama. Of course, we talked about this in the previous video. So I don't think we have to explain what the $500 skin is about again. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. important is that a lot of people didn't like it and a lot of people felt like they were betrayed by Riot. Yeah. Especially the people who sure. bought all of Ari's skins because that's the people who bonded the collectors. with Ari's character. Because who wouldn't bond over the lore of sucking the living souls out of your lovers in the middle of the love act because you have a massive hunger for human essence? The lore is actually really cool, I swear. Anyway, if there is <laughs> one place on the internet where they felt like they just really had to act, of course, it was the Ari mains. And mm. so their community <clears throat> assembled. Okay, From the okay. first moment the skin was revealed and the pricing was announced, the Ari mains started thinking about their next move. And okay. so, 18 days ago, the best way to rebel is to boycott Ari herself. I think it's atrocious that Riot is pricing a skin bundle that costs half of my paycheck for an entire month. Mm. I say let's protest in a way that forces Riot to the negotiating table. <laughs> All we need to do is ban Ari every single game. Okay. The whales will never get to enjoy the skin the if they whales. can't play the champion. Yeah. And then Riot will be forced to lower prices. Similar strategies worked for Rise. Let's work to get Ari ban rate to 100%. Wow, I love See, the confidence this there. was a ridiculous idea on paper. It would need some ridiculous commitment for it to work. It was crazy. So do we need to start banning Ari? Just crazy enough for it to work. Yeah, and I was going to say. the community agreed. That's actually genius. <laughs> Share to hashtag permban Ari in all related content platforms. Good idea. But can't wait for the mods to notice this post and delete it to protect daddy right profit. <laughs> I think the problem is that people don't care. They would be, it's just a skin. I don't even play Ari. Yeah, I don't but it's, care. It's, it's more so than on. that, you know? But it is worth a shot. Yeah, Easy yeah. way to counter Riot's prices. And so the community bonded over the idea of a boycott. Mm -hmm. And what fueled the idea even more was Riot's ability to make fun of themselves even though this time they did not do it in the most ethical of ways. Oof. Wait till the Demon King hears about these prices. Oof. By the way, it seems like Riot removed this voice line from the game now. And what's uh. awesome is that 
It wasn't just the A remains who suffered. All the mains felt the pain, and so, like a cavalry, mm. one by one, they all arrived to lend their helping hand. Even the Seraphine mains. Dear Ari players, us Seraphine players. <laughs> oh my god, I love you. this. Everybody's entered. rallying around it. Mains, but we've got your back in it. What's even better, that even some of the whales were not happy about this. Oh. As a whale. As you a whale. Riot. And oh. so a whole new movement okay, okay. has started. Hashtag permaban Ari. A movement with a single <laughs> I love goal. this. Every time someone Kidneys. would play a game of League of Legends, <laughs> there would be the gentleman's agreement that one of them would All right. always ban Ari. We got to start banning Ari. I got way, it. I get those it. Those who had the audacity to buy that atrocity would never have a chance to play that skin. Yeah. Unless they played quick play where there are no bands. But we don't talk about that. It was yeah. a movement with valiant effort. A movement that was met with equal courage. A movement that got about 500 interactions last week. So, uh, hashtag Ben Ari was uh, worthless. Yeah. Which is when hashtag Ben Ari arrived on stage <laughs> with 10,000 interactions. Oh, okay. Better, it better. Was a simpler catch your hashtag that actually it's time, started boys. Off some numbers. And now we've had numerous amazing posts that started there we go, there we go. in the viral territories. Not only the players, but also the creators and the esports personalities started talking about it now. And suddenly the entire movement started getting some traction. Okay. Which was even further boosted on the 12th of June. The okay. The day the skin was released. Ah. And from that point on, it started only right one away. thing mattered the results and not true. just the first day but the following few days true 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 it can't stop it can't waver those numbers gotta keep arrived, banning Ari. something else that people started noticing you see on the 12th of june besides just the ari skin right also officially released the hall of legends battle pass right the first ever pass that wasn't tied to a skin line or a skin based event but rather, it was purely based on esports, and specifically, mm. it was based on Faker. And from the very first moments, it was obvious that this pass would be a really good deal compared to what we are normally getting. Within mm. the context of all the other passes, it looks really good. And mm -hmm. on the day this released, most people agreed that remains to be true. Okay. So now, among all the chaos, you had this one. Bright so the pass light. is still cool. This pass <coughs> is actually it's really worth getting. well put together. Okay. It has a whole presentation with immersive elements and animations. And every five levels or so, you get a bonus video that shows you an iconic moment from Faker's history. Oh, it very really cool. Feels like it's interactive. Really That's nice. To Faker, which yeah. also weirdly makes you feel like you are part of a Faker worshipping cult. <laughs> anyway, the point is, the pass is actually really good. And the funny thing about that is that Riot is using embedded YouTube videos in the client to show you those historic moments. Mm. So if you find the link to those unlisted videos, you can just watch the final thank you from Faker for finishing the pass. Oh, yeah, you I can just... special now. <laughs> so as you can see, not everything was horrible this event. Okay. And so there was the risk that since this was good, it could put a dent in the boycott. But now it's been three days, which is still not that long. I would say to get some good numbers, we would need at least a week one or two weeks week to yeah. see if the boycotts do anything. But already with only three days behind us, we got some really interesting data. It's good. It, I'll wonder what it's like in a week from now. What's happening in the background the entire time. And so, has Riot felt the difference? Was there enough mm. active players that would alter the course of League of Legends? Or at least uh, to send Riot a message? Was right. there enough players to, have to send a message Ari every game? Well, for context, before the skin dropped, the ban rate for Ari was okay. about 8%. Now, okay, keep okay. in mind that this game already has about 160 champions. Right. And every game you get about 10 bands. So even 10% is quite high if you average everyone out. So, how much did uh -oh. the community... I'm so have? curious. Let me see it. <clears throat> 
Oh, that's insane. What? Well, that can certainly be considered a dent. Now, wow. as cool as this graph looks, it needs some context. Okay. First of all, the data shown here is how different ranks banned Ari. That's why the blue line actually tilts down at the end. That's all the players in Diamond and above. So it's all mm. the people who had their fun with banning, but then they got back to just grinding rank. Right. Also, they technically represent about 1% of the player base. So the more accurate way to show the data would be this. This is a single wow. line that shows us the, the average, average ban yeah. rate across all the ranks, That's which should be what, in line triple? with how Basically? many games double? Were played. And here I guess you double. can see that it jumped from <laughs> about 8.4% all the way to 21% yeah. ban rate, which means it more than 2.5. Yeah. With the highest ban rates being in Platinum and Emerald, where it peaked mm. at 24%. Wow. That is a ban for Ari That's Aari huge numbers. That's game. three Now, times. to be honest, for a League of Legends community, that is impressive. Even more so <laughs> he because, said for a League remember, of Legends community. there is a lot of games of League of Legends played every day. True, true. And most people don't watch the drama on the internet. So to see a That's dent true. in the numbers this big from the general player base is very unusual. Now, the reason why this feat was so easily pulled off, however, is because technically you only need one out of the ten people in every right. game. Right. Okay, that That's makes right. sense. For these boycotts, <clears throat> only one person needs to ban Ari. Okay. So there was already an advantage. There's got to be a, However, at least one cool person the following looks, the internet there lore. There is something important to be mentioned here. This is the global data. Of course, oh. different regions okay, okay. participate in different ways. Oh, I'm curious. For example, EU West is holding the line. Here in Europe, the ban okay. rate is about 35%. 35 is nuts. Which is insane. That's crazy. Of course, NA also likes to complain about everything. So, so 30. they do are at 32%. Okay, good. So good overall, numbers. Good job. the West is standing together good in the job. boycott. But of course, when you look at the skin... While it is being sold everywhere, mm -hmm. it's not really aiming at the global audience. It's not really the West specifically this skin is targeting, mm -hmm. is it? I mean, is it we're South Korea? About Faker with an esports event that is rooted. Is it selling Korea, well over there? With League of Legends esports being by far the biggest in Korea, with yeah. some of Riot's largest income also coming from the East. As in, it might not even be comparable. I mean, why do you think we keep getting the Lunar Revel skins and Spirit Blossom and we have all the other Eastern themed skins that just keep coming back? They are doing well. Mm, that's why okay. they keep coming back. Okay. And that's because the East likes to pay for their games a lot more than the West. Ah. That is simply a fact about the gaming industry. And so the question yeah, that now makes is, sense, actually. how did all of this look on the other side uh, of the Oh, uh, the opposite? What do they think about Can we see the buy rate? Game? Well, Vietnam, Thailand, and even Japan oh, okay. are all united. They are all soaring around the 20 to 30 percent. OK, bandwidth, OK, which is great. But those can hardly be called the bigger audiences, at least <laughs> not compared to Korea. Uh oh, where it went down. Oh, wait, hardly eh. anything happened. See, Ari was okay. roughly at a 5% ban rate before the skin launched. Mm. And then when it did, uh, she jumped to impressive 9%. Wow. Which means that some people joined the boycott. But for the most part, it seems like their player base doesn't they really don't care. care. Yep. I mean, Ari had higher ban rate. That's so interesting. We even learned about the existence of this skin. But it also so makes it seems sense. like bad balancing matters a lot more than bad pricing over there hmm. which also means yeah this skin might do well because the audience yeah this skin it might be doing well over there targeting is fine with it or at least that seems to be the case according to these numbers yeah i don't actually see into the korean social media it'd so be interesting to does, see from somebody let me know over what there it looks like over there yeah anyway there you have it
Hmm. That's really why the situation is. Well, so I love that we all rallied in here in the West. West. The community clearly managed to send. And in what? Message. Japan and Vietnam? People really think this kind of pricing is extremely aggressive. It is. And that's even with all the people who stay away from the internet drama. It is still unbelievable right. such a big portion of the player base took part in these boycotts. It is honestly quite amazing to see. But unfortunately, the skin is still bound to do. Well. We have to see if these numbers stay higher, All though, of this will after a week or two. Again next year. At the end of the day, as I mentioned in the last video when we talked about this, try to look at the brighter side of this. Because oh. that's all we can really do. I okay. Mean, it is just a skin. And thankfully, it is not ruining the gameplay. Okay. And if you feel like it does for Fair you, enough. just keep in mind that all the people who bought this skin are probably getting bullied. They're again. getting made fun of More and bullied, that, yeah. With Riot revealing that League of Legends is getting a vampire survivor based game mode, it, it seems is. like the money they get is not actually going towards new mansions. League <laughs> is building new things for the free to play audiences. And when Riot drops one of these bigger pieces of drama, all the stakes are always on the next thing. True. Will it be Very good true. enough for people? Especially to on next year's Hall of Legends. Or will the company's reputation take a hit? What probably? I feel like it help, kind of has so far. Is that Riot also released a physical statue of that skin for only three hundred dollars? Oh, that's so funny! What? How is the physical version cheaper? Oh, that is so great. Necrit again, killing it. Knocking it out of the ballpark here with a video. Those were some very interesting numbers. So, you know, I didn't even think about it until this video, obviously. But yeah, like in South Korea, where like League of Legends and gaming is seen so different there, right? Versus the West. Like it's not as mainstream as it is over in the West here as it is in South Korea. So it totally makes sense that like it's kind of it made like a little bit of a splash in terms of the ban rate, but it didn't really like go to the numbers that we're seeing over in, in Europe and NA. So I'm definitely curious to know, like he was saying, like Necro was saying was like, I wonder like what's going on in the social media over in South Korea about the RE skin itself and like what's the overall consensus from a lot of the League of Legends players over there, just like your casual, normal League of Legends players in South Korea. Like what are their thoughts on this Hall of Legends? skin i'd be very curious to know and let me know in the comments if you guys have any insight on that uh because yeah it seems like it's not too big a deal over there and people are maybe purchasing it obviously riot's not going to put out the numbers in terms of how many people are buying it i also am very curious how many people have seen the re skin in game have any of you guys seen that please let me know in the comments i know i did see a TikTok. i want to say yesterday as of recording this that um tyler one did have somebody with the re skin in one of his games i don't know if you guys have seen it more than once or if he's seen it more than once but i know it's at least been seen once by tyler one i'm also very curious i hope like with any of these kind of things where people rally behind something to like boycott something it what really sucks is it's always so short-lived right like obviously this data they pulled up was only three days after it it was like a june uh, 15th I think he said and honestly after like a week or two it's probably just gonna go back to normal I hate to say it I hate to be negative about it but that's I've seen these kind of boycott things happen all the time but maybe this will be one of the opposite ones and it'll actually stay that way and hopefully we'll just start to see the re band stay in the in the high 20s or the low 30s at least in the NA in Europe um, going forward. We'll have to see how long that boycott lasts. All right, guys, that was another great video from Necrit. I would love to hear you guys' uh, thoughts in the comments, so please let me know. Please leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the other League of Legends reactions I have up uh, on the channel. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.